guilty against Smith. In this fight that sent a 14-year-old classmate to the hospital will face criminal charges. But those charges aren't strong enough, according to the victim's attorney. Action News' Leslie Corsi is live in the Action Cam downtown tonight. Leslie, the three girls have been charged with misdemeanors. That's right. The video of the fight is still up on YouTube. You can see it any time. And it did play a role in, in the suspects being charged. But according to the state attorney's office, it was the victim's medical records that led to their decision to only charge the suspects with misdemeanors. Lured off school grounds, beaten by a girl known for brawling, and videotaped for everyone else to see. This is what happened to Area Jewett back in March. The attack left the Ocean Way Middle School student hospitalized with a brain injury. You don't have to have, you know, a skull fracture for the brain to be injured. The brain sits in cerebral spinal fluid, and any amount of impact, which in the video shows, was a hard impact, shakes that brain around. Jewett's attorney, John Phillips, says the attack has left his client with lasting side effects. She was a 4.0 student up until this happened. And since then, she doesn't want to go back to school. She's dealing with headaches, you know, never mind the, the psychological trauma of being beaten. I tried to walk away. After reviewing Jewett's medical records, the state attorney's office decided her injuries were not serious enough to warrant felony charges for her attacker or the attacker's two accomplices. Instead, they will face misdemeanors, which Phillips says lets them off easy. And if you're just slapping people on the wrist with these outrageous bullying events, I mean, where somebody's brain's injured, what, what justice are we getting? Because the fight happened off campus, the school district was limited as to how they disciplined the girls. The fight did lead to a landmark court decision that baited that so-called serial bully from all Duval County School. Now that decision is up in a peace court. We're live downtown, Leslie Corsi, CS47 Action News. It's possible the girls could wind up in the same school next year. Phillips says we will know for sure in a few weeks whether the order to ban the attacker from all Duval County schools will stand or be amended.